So let's talk about five reasons you should combine GLP-1 agonists, such as semaglutide or terzipatide, with non-invasive body sculpting treatments, like the TrueSculpt ID or the TrueSculpt Flex, or my favorite, the M-Sculpt Neo device for body sculpting. My name is Dr. G, and I'm an internal medicine doctor in Hollywood, Florida, and I have unique experience with weight loss medications like GLP-1 agonists and in-office non-invasive body sculpting treatments like the M-Sculpt Neo. One of the great things about body sculpting is we can enhance muscle mass in directed areas. As you lose weight with medications like semaglutide, semaglutide, some people say, or terzipatide, you're going to lose both body fat and lean muscle mass. We try to hold up the lean muscle mass loss by promoting more resistance training, but not every single patient is able to jump right into a weight loss or resistance training program. Most people who are getting into the weight loss are coming from a sedentary state where they were basically on a couch. And resistance training is not something they're ready to just jump into. We're preaching lifestyle modifications, and that means slowly getting into resistance training. But if we're losing weight during that time, we're losing both adipose tissue or fat, and we're losing lean muscle mass, which is basically muscle in the human body, you're going to just be losing both at the same rate. We wanna hold that up though. Lean muscle mass is what we wanna keep. Not only is it good for you know aesthetics, it's also good to increase the metabolism. Lean muscle mass actually burns calories. So the body sculpting device, which is designed basically to burn fat in most cases, but in all cases, they are designed to increase muscle mass in the areas that is targeted is an excellent marriage. If you put both together, you will preferentially lose fat in the right places and in most patients. That's the first reason I'm sure that you should combine the GLP-1 agonist like semaglutide or terzipatide along with non-invasive body sculpting. The next reason I feel that you need to combine both GLP-1 agonist and body sculpting treatments is you supercharge the fat loss. Most body sculpting devices offer fat burning specifically as part of the treatment. In the case of the M-Sculpt Neo device, this is done through RF or radio frequency heat applied to the right places will burn the fat away. How does this happen? What is, what's going on here? We're actually heating up the adipose to a certain temperature that causes the adipose to just die. The cells literally just die. In over six to eight weeks, your body goes along and just absorbs it. And it goes into your body and you eliminate it as waste. Remember, the GLP-1 agonists are great at losing fat just because you're operating at a deficit. We're losing muscle, like I said just a minute ago, but you are losing fat. Couple that with the actual device, the body sculpting device that's targeting a certain area of your body to burn that fat away, now you're supercharging the fat, and like I said a minute ago, increasing the muscle mass and lean muscle mass further opens up that gap in the calorie deficit because, again, muscle is burning more fat, and that's burning fat away in the right places. So it's, it's a great marriage if you put both of them together. It's another good reason I recommend putting together both GLP-1 agonists or weight loss medications like GLP-1 agonists along with non-invasive body sculpting in the office setting. The next thing is, increasing overall metabolic rate. Studies have shown in body sculpting treatments like the M-Sculpt Neo and even the TrueSculpt Flex treatment, one of the things that happens is increased metabolic rate even after coming off of the machine. I have often have to tell my patients to resist the urge after a body sculpting treatment with an M-Sculpt Neo to <laughs> resist the urge of going out and having a great big meal because you get really, really hungry. A lot of my patients call back and say, hey, I've been sweating still for an hour. Have you ever been working out and after working out maybe an hour or an hour and a half later, you still got a little bit of sweat on you. You feel, you feel like you feel jacked up. That's exactly what happens with the body sculpting treatments. You have a significant workout of a muscle group and that metabolic rate continues to run for a time after the workout. That means calories continue to burn even after the workout. The GLP-1 agonists tend to increase the metabolic rate as part of the action of the incretin by a process that we are not very sure how it happens. Still studying it, but we know that metabolic rate does increase in patients with GLP-1 agonists on board. One of the best reasons that most docs would love to combine GLP-1 agonists along with body sculpting treatments is that there is almost no interaction between the two. You're talking about a physical situation 
with increasing the heat on the adipose tissue in your body, along with pulsing magnetic energy through muscle or electrical stimulation through muscle, which is wholly apart and totally separate from the actual hormonal regulation that's happening with GLP-1 agonists. Totally separate situations, and there's virtually no situation where there's going to be a reaction between the two. So that means you can use in the, each independently at their own maximally effective dose without having to worry about one affecting the other in a negative way. Almost no chance of having any type of interaction because you're using both modalities. All doctors love this, patients love this, because they're not having problems, they're not having to come back, and they're not having to run into any issue with urgency or emergencies or getting hurt. I've had zero issues with patients having any type of interactions when we use both GLP-1 agonists along with non-invasive body sculpting in the office setting. And likely the best reason that patients like combining GLP-1 agonists along with non-invasive body sculpting like the M-Sculpt Neo in the office is the fact that they get to their goals a lot faster. And at the same time, two different goals. One is a weight loss goal, lifestyle modification goal, and the other one is in more of an aesthetic thing. They want to combine increasing muscle mass, aesthetics, aesthetically pleasing, and losing fat in specific areas, specifically targeted areas by the body sculpting device, and they get to two different goals essentially at the, the same time, and with a lot less time from the start. Patients love this. Patients love to have um, positive feedback when you're looking in the mirror and you're seeing, hey, I am losing weight, my abs or my thighs or my butt or my arms or my tries, they're coming out, I'm getting, you know, they're getting positive feedback and they want to do more. Most times they'll jump in the gym and get even more gains on their own, moving away from the body sculpting treatments because the body sculpting treatment only enhances what they already have or keeps a maintenance after they already get it, right? You have these muscles, everyone has these ab muscles underneath the fat, everybody has muscles underneath their thighs and in their butt, but they're not really worked out to the point where they're showing the way you want it to show. So combine the fat loss of GLP-1 agonist medications along with actually killing the fat that's overlying the muscle in these areas with the body sculpting treatment and then enhancing the muscle, like we said before, with the electrostimulation or the electromagnetic stimulation of the M-Sculpt Neo device, and you have what I like to call the match made in heaven. Happier patients, happier doctors, get to goals quicker, enhancing metabolism, changing lifestyle, getting more confidence every time you look into the mirror because you're reaching your gains. Those are the things that I love, and I think that everyone should know about combining your GLP-1 agonist along with body sculpting treatments. Here's a bonus about adding GLP-1 agonists along with the body sculpting treatments, maintenance. Many of my patients come back every three to four months for touch-up therapies for their body sculpting treatments. If they get a little busy at work, not really be able to work out as much as they like, but like to maintain the gains. You still have to do some work in between, not as much, because now you're coming in for body sculpting treatments on a regular basis. Not every week, like at the initial treatment, but every three to four months, touch-up sessions can help you maintain the gains you've gained a couple months back. Those are the tips that I would like to share with you for combining the GLP-1 agonist along with the body sculpting treatments, the non-invasive type in the office setting. See you soon.